All right, great effort uh, by our guys. Uh, you know, Ohio was really hot early shooting the basketball, but in the second half in particular, I thought we really guarded, uh, moved the ball well, made free throws when we needed to, and uh, proud of these guys. I thought G came in in particular and did a great job uh, defensively on uh, Kaminsky, and uh, Jimmy got his, I think this is your first double-double of the year, right? Uh, of this year, yeah, and I mean, Jimmy's our best rebounder. It's his second of the year? Okay, second of the year. First in Mac play. So, yeah, I thought he was really patient and uh, really helped us. So, great, great win, and now we move on to uh, to uh, Ball State. Questions for Joel and Jimmy. Joel, can you talk about the defense on Kaminsky? Because in the first half, it looked like he was hitting from everywhere, especially from the three-point line. Uh, did you do something specifically, or is it just uh, good, tight defense? Uh, I, just, I just try to make everything difficult for him. You know, I try to beat it on the catch when I chase him off the screens. You know, coach challenged us after our loss against Buffalo. You know, to take pride defensively. So you know, I, that's something I definitely took to heart. You know, no matter who I'm guarding, you know, I'm trying to make them work. You and Jimmy had outstanding games tonight, but also uh, Xavier had a fantastic game, and so did Jalen. What did he? What did you and Jalen and uh, Xavier meant to this team so far this season? Um, we have a lot of people that can play, you know. We all look to each other, you know, for sparks. You know, I think, you know, any given night, you know, someone can step up and have a big game. So, you know, X is kind of like the backbone for us, I, I, I guess you could say, you know, no matter where he's playing that, you know, he's coming in and gives us a spark. Jalen has given us a spark, you know. So I think, you know, we just are staying aggressive and, you know, we feed off of each other. Jimmy, what you guys are getting ready to play Ohio. What's what are some of the general big stroke notes in your offensive scouting report? Uh, having real issues on the defensive end, I'm wondering, you know, how does your team's approach? Uh, our team's approach was uh, to take away the three and offensively to get it inside and um, work off of that. You guys uh, don't, don't give away our scouting report. Well, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but do you see them as soft sounds harsh, but are they a team that has a lot of trouble you know, stopping penetration? Are, are they? They tough on the ball defenders. How about, you know? I mean, they're a real skilled team. You know, get a lot of credit to them. But uh, I mean, I wouldn't say <coughs> that they're soft, but I would say that we're we're a way tougher team. You know, we pride ourselves on being tough and being physical. So that that was the goal. To out. Did what happened? I, I guess in the second half, when you guys got space, you were able to get get uh, some things going to the rim a little bit more often. Yep. Jimmy, what happened with you guys? Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't think there's anything going on. You know, I feel like we, we always go to the boards, but, you know, they, they're just not coming up in our hands. I, I noticed that we get a, a lot of boards that uh, tip off our hands and into, some, into other players' hands, like the uh, opposing team. They had and seven, to, to echo on Jimmy's point, they had seven balls that went off our hands out of bounds. So that's seven of their rebounds. Yeah, and that happens a lot. I feel like that's because we're all uh, trying to get the rebounds and be aggressive, and, and we, we kind of fight ourselves sometimes. So mm -hmm. I feel like that, that that's a problem. Anything else for Joel or Jimmy? All right, fellas. Get some rest, Jimbo. Get some rest, Jimbo. Sure. All right, fire away, fellas. Jimmy called him a skilled team. Is were you guys just tougher tonight? No, I listen. Game, but no, no. I just think we 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 tried to play to our strength. They tried to play to their strength, and uh, you know what? If it was a forty-three minute game, they might have won the game. I mean, we 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 got ourselves a lead, and then they attacked and got got easy baskets. And they're a good <coughs> team, and you know, obviously, they were short a player tonight, so. I'm sure that that impacted them in some level, but at the end of the day, I'm just proud of the way our guys responded uh, for for big stretches in the second half. I mean, it was a one point game at halftime. They came out uh, on fire, and you know I think we tried the best of our ability to clamp down defensively, and um, for a stretch of the game at least, I thought we did a really good job, certainly in the second half. Yeah. With them. What was working right then and did that kind of give you that, that breathing room that you needed? 
Yeah, for us, I mean, for us, if we can get out and transition, we, we're we're a pretty good offensive team. Uh, and when everything's half court, half court, half court, like most teams, it it's, gets tougher and tougher to score. Everybody scouts each other so well that he, he, those baskets become really important. So we were able to get a couple consecutive stops, and then we were able to stretch the lead out. And um, you know, credit to our guys for for what they did during that. Uh, that stretch of the game. And then, again, we still have to get better at closing out games. But um, you know what? It, it's, uh, as you look around the league, it's tough to win. So uh, we're, we're going to be happy that we won and happy that we were able to uh, get ourselves a, a cushion and, uh, and know that we have to play them again in, I think, two weeks. So uh, we'll have to be ready to, to defend at a high level next time we play them. Thoughts tonight about uh, Jalen and Xavier? They both yeah, good. Yeah, games tonight. absolutely. And I thought Jalen gave us a huge spark uh, off the bench, especially in the first half. We really struggled to score for a stretch, and he he was our offense uh, for a little bit. And uh, and Xavier's been a good player all year, and um, you know tonight was one of his best games, and I thought he was under control and. Uh, you know, was really smart with his decisions in the first half. He he didn't get some calls or, or maybe over penetrated a little bit too much. And then the second half, he hit some pull ups and and made some simple plays and uh, had a couple of really nice passes to Jimmy. And I thought he played very, very well. Was it frustrating just that Kaminsky was in the first half was hitting almost everything? Yeah, the he's a good player. Listen, a good player playing at home, uh, you know, uh, the only thing that was frustrating for me was in the second half when it got close. I mean, you know, outside of that, you know that they're going to make some shots. And we just had to, uh, you know, none of our guys had seen Kaminsky except on tape. So sometimes you don't quite realize just how good a shooter is until the first one that he buries with your hand there to understand, oh, I got I to gotta really get up in him and make him dribble. And, um, you know, I think as we figured that out, Joel, once he, he he had hit four shots, I think, before we even put Jalal on him. And then I think Jalal did about as good a job as you can do, uh, you know, guarding him. So, you know, we'll take it and try to move on and get better for the next game. Was there concern at the end? Oh, yeah, Miami, yeah, yeah, listen, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I'm going to do a clinic on how to have a team blow a 15-point lead and make it one possession. I don't know how much money I can make off that DVD. But I'm thinking about producing one. Uh, but you know what? Our kids are resilient. And again, same thing. We need to get a stop, and we got one. Um, took us a while, but, but we got it. And we made our free throws when we needed to, which is, again, I, I, I know early in the year that was the big concern. Guys can't shoot free throws. You guys can't shoot free throws. Well, now we can shoot free throws, you know. So we're getting better. I mean, we're getting better. We're three and one. And now we got to go on the road. and try to play some really tough teams on the road. Did you see anything with, I know the numbers are not about the page, did you see anything out of Kalik that indicates he's? Yeah, listen, Kalik was more aggressive defensively. He's just got to see a couple baskets go in and, and get his confidence back. I mean, you know, Kalik's an important, important player for us. And him at the rim in particular defensively, you know, he, he has the ability to really, really change the game. I know he just got to get back to, to playing with the confidence that that he had earlier in the year. And um, he's getting his weight back, and um, he's practiced really well, and now he's just got to go out in the game and, you know, ha have the impact that we all know he can and, and all know that we need him to have. Anything else, Coach? All right. All right, thanks.